Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for episode 5 of season 6 of Game of Thrones. This time the title of the episode is The Door. And here on my HBO Go, uh, I have the creepy thumbnail of the children of the forest as a thumbnail for this episode. And I'm scared but also intrigued because I, I adore that storyline even though I sometimes feel like I don't fully understand. But anyways, I'm here to react to it. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction video. Season 6, so far, the first four episodes that I have watched have been amazing. And I cannot wait to watch more from this season. So yes, I'm excited. Hope you guys are excited as well to continue watching me react to Game of Thrones. Thank you so much for all your support, all your comments, all your likes, everything. It really motivates me to continue doing more reactions for Game of Thrones. And it just feels really good that I have found such an amazing group of people that watch Game of Thrones with me. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Thumbs up, like I said, subscribe, comment, and all those good things. And without further ado, let's just begin with episode 5 of season 6 of Game of Thrones. My child! Oh. Oh, little finger! She's going. You bitch! <laughs> if you didn't know you were an idiot, if you did know you were my enemy. Oh yes, Sansa! Yes! Would you like to hear about her wedding night? Oh my god, yeah. What do you think he did to me? Answer, bitch. Lady Sansa asked you a question. You better answer it. Bitch. You. Bitch. Yes, he enjoyed it. Why shouldn't I? He did new, come on. You want me to bet? Then I will die. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's 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 you try it. Me from the monsters who murdered my family. Just to hinder her to and other you gave monsters. Me to other monsters yeah. who murdered my family. Yeah, true. Half brother. Shut up! He does really know how to plant seeds on people. I could fucking die. Yeah, Alright, was revenge now? <laughs> This sassy bitch. Oh, y'all, yes, sorry. Really? She's getting cocky. What the fuck? Oh my god. Stop it! Oh my god. Oh god. Well, but you know the what's the good thing of. Lady Stark. The good thing about this is that she's really good. So, if she keeps training with her, that is only gonna make her good, Arya. I hate when they communicate with just she looks. The girl has my desires. Oh, that's good. That was a tricky question. I was gonna say I desire that. What is that? Oh, they're recreating his death. Oh, this is stupid. Oh, poor Robert. Father, please don't. Oh, that's supposed to be Joffrey. So say it all wine. I feel the winds of the sea lick across. This is awful. I'm playing him like he was a stupid. Is that a test? I heard to get mad at the guy who's playing Ned. Oh, God. This is sick, though, that she's gonna revisit this even though as a joke. Save my father! Truly, you should. Oh, Sansa. Killing the man will be spared. <laughs> this is awful. Poor Arya. That is just so awful that that is... that Arya is being with... What was the need of this? Tools. Two the dick right there! Oh, Who's that? Things are changing. Poor Theon. 
At one point he wanted it. Or at least he thought he wanted this. You know what she is! She is a reaver! She is a warrior! Yes! She is Iron Ball! Yes, true! We will... <laughs> I feel... This is our queen! Of this bitch. I knew that this was gonna happen. Cause he was back, so. Come on, you don't know him, please! You even heard you have no cock. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't, but it doesn't matter. We Which love him. why you think a woman can be king. When did oh, you fuck return? off. Killed my father. Yeah, true. Please don't be stupid, all of you. I did. The largest fleet the world has ever seen. <laughs> They're in campaign right now. Right side, someone oh. with a large army. Three <gasps> Danny? large dragons. Danny? And no husband. Oh, fuck off! All of you traitors! So I guess it'll be the last election. Oh, this is so fucked up. Let's go murder them. This bitch! Danny, she never Tyrion catches a break. Right. I love you. Oh, that's sweet. She doesn't feel the same though. He knows that. Always love you. Stan is the uh, did find a cure to stop spreading. So, Silvio. Oh, the old, oh, oh, oh. She's just like, oh, and she has a necklace. Familian Jorim. She has a necklace, just like, like. Like, uh. Ah! Melisandre. So I'm pretty sure she's, she's old as fuck as well. Wait. From the fire she was reborn to remake the world. But Mabel Sandra said that John was the one who was she promised. She freed the slaves from their chains and crucified Do you remember what you heard that night? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Parts in the fire. He heard something. You heard what? a voice call out from the flames. Do you remember? Oh. How she would she know, you right? What the voice said. Yeah, because Should I don't I remember. tell you the name? Wait, remind me, what did he hurt? And now he's by himself. With no one to stop him. To, for him not to do anything. Whoa, that's like a spiral. That's the army of the dead. Oh my shit. Get out of there, Bran! Him John is every bit as much Ned Stark's son as Ramsay is Roose Bolton. Yeah, true, true. And they're also the. I don't, I don't, I don't think this is good. She doesn't want to leave you. Ah. Oh. I don't like leaving you here alone. Yeah, she wants not, to protect you. Not him. For a leader with better prospects. No, not Sir Davos. He didn't know about that. that. Wildling fellow with a beard. <laughs> Tormund is always looking at Brienne. I love it. <laughs> you see, love. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, the Starks embark on their new assignment. With the Red Woman. Podrick, or loyal Podrick, as always. Sir so Dow's going as well? Hot, hot. Yeah. The rusher of bacon is a blood sausage. 
后者说。Yeah. <laughs> oh my shit! We're in trouble. Since you guys are the creators of this, can you undo this fucking shit? Oh no. How do you have a dragon blast? Oh no. So four children against all of those. Oh no. of episode 5 of season 6 of Game of Thrones uh, The Door oh god I mean I have always said this about Game of Thrones there is nothing that happens on the show there is not going to later be used for something one of the, the 
one things that have been going on for since season one, I think, is Hodor. And uh, it was so weird, you know, to have uh, him and have him to say, you know, been repeating Hodor, Hodor all, all the time. And then we get to, in this season, uh, get to know that he was a normal kid, that he was, yes, like, uh, very big and all that, but he was normal and everything that happened, I feel like everything that had led to this point it wasn't for nothing, it was meant to be every single thing even Bran touching that, it was meant to be because, why? Because you have Hodor right there and Hodor had to be Hodor up until that point in order for everything else that happened to become what it needed to be, you know, to get, because it feels like Hodor and, and what happened to him, it has been like on a loop, like on a, it, it, and that's why he repeats Hodor and Hodor uh, all over again, because um, he, <sighs> that happened to him in real life, you know, or like Bran, Bran was able to witness that, the fact that he speak and he was able to witness the first time he started saying Hodor. So that needed to happen. That was going to happen either way. You know, either Bran was destined to touch that. Was Bran going to be ready when the time comes for him to become that old man? No, it, he was not going to be ready, but it was meant to be like that. It was never meant to be any different from what it was at this point. So. It's, it's magnificent that something that has come from many, many years to come to play now. It's fantastic. Uh, it was well executed. I know that this is based on books. I don't know if this specific storyline was also in the books because I believe there are some storylines uh, uh, from the show that are not necessarily taking letter, like, word to word as to what was in the books. So I don't know if this was on the books or not. If it was, I believe that it's it was done perfectly because for someone as myself who doesn't have that background of reading the books it was really like you could tell oh this is what happened to him Bran was able to access uh, Willis's mind on this moment and he ruined him so that had happened that thing had happened in the past so it's so magnificent, it's, it's a paradox, you know? He can Bran being in that precise moment to be able to access Willis's mind so he can go and enrich the holder of our present time had happened like over and over again until this moment that Bran finally caught up with the moment that Hodor becomes Hodor, you know? Uh, it's both tragic and sad that it happened like that, that he used uh, Willis like that, and it's sad, but it, it's history. That is what happens. You, it, it was, it already happened. You know what I mean? Everything that Bran did already happened up until this point. So it's amazing the way it has. So I am always amazed, and I'm always intrigued by paradox. Like there is a paradox which applies to this, which is the. Uh, the grandfather paradox or something like that. I, I know the paradox in Spanish. I don't know if it's that's the name, but like I don't know if you have seen, but it's like the paradox of the grandchild going back in time to kill his father. No, to kill the grandfather, meaning the grandfather never had that child. And that means that he never had, if that didn't happen, that will have created a paradox, you know, but it did happen, so all it's good. If you want to read about it, it's, it's really confusing because it never happened and it happens at the same time, you know. So it needed to be done uh, and, and I'm not happy with the outcome, but you understand everything. You understand that it was a circle that needed to be closed and it was going to be closed with him. So everything that had happened with the fact that Ho he kept saying Hodor, Hodor over and over again, that means that it happened. In that moment where he was tra transforming into Hodor, Willis was transforming into Hodor, in the future, Bran, he was holding the door, you know? 
and it's just amazing I always find that amazing because it's just it's so intriguing you know it's not something you usually see on TV shows and it, it was just fantastic the way they executed all of that um, now there are different things there is one scene that I wish I could I'm gonna I'm gonna try to look for it it's the Game of Thrones scene where Var Varys talks to Tyrion about when he got his dick cut off um, and he says that he heard something but I don't remember exactly what is it that he heard so I'm gonna go back and look for what is it that he heard did he heard the name Danny's name I, I don't remember but I promise uh, before I watch the next episode I'm gonna remember what is it that he he said I, I honestly don't remember um, but it's interesting, you know, that he, as a non-believer, in that moment, he, he was cut off, off guard, and, uh, he, you know, we know the power, if you, I don't know if you want to call it evil, or whatever it is that you want to call the lore of the light, you cannot deny the things that he has done, or the things that the people that worships him have done in his name, so, whether if it's, it's, if it's uh, good or bad, that is present, but it's amazing to me that we are seeing another priest, and she's also wearing that thing, which is like a, like a glamour necklace that makes her look the way, so now I'm not gonna feel attracted to her, because I'm pretty, pretty much aware that when she takes that off, she's gonna be a scary old lady. Okay, so I have learned my lesson. I have learned my lesson. <laughs> so yeah, also, one thing that I find so satisfying to me as a, as a, as a viewer, uh, it's seeing Sansa's progression, you know, it's seeing Sansa owning to everything, saying, I still feel broken, I still feel him, you know, and, and in, you know, in our date and time, People believe, for some reason, that a husband cannot rape her, his wife, which is not true. Rape is rape. It doesn't matter because when you're married, you're, you still don't own your wife. But in that time, you cannot call it rape because in that time, it wasn't rape because she was married to him. That is what it was expected from her to, to do, what Ramsey had, had, was entitled to. Which is fucked up. Is it still fucked up in this year? Is it still fucked up in back then? Um, but it is what it is in that time period. I just love how Sansa, you know, feels like she, even if she is supposed to do this, she still feels like they violated her body. Because of course it wasn't with consent, you know? And of course he was just the evil person that he was, you know? And I hate seeing my my child go through everything, but it has made her stronger. And one thing that I love about every single woman on this show is that besides, you know, even though they have everything playing against them, they are playing the same game as men, but still they are in disadvantage. But still they are able to thrive and to come come out stronger from every single situation they have gone through and it's awful the only person in this world i believe that will understand how it feels it's theon like theon will understand if sansa will sit down with him i think they will be able to understand because theon was also like he had no control over anything he was in a way not raped but violated I don't know if that means the same thing but what I mean is that he had no control over he was tortured and all of that so I believe that he will he could be the only one who understands uh, Sansa in that specific ans aspect which was you know being um, um, tortured and being at the mercy of Ramsay uh, I love that Sansa you know she was you know putting things together, she was in the conversation, she was like this, the northern, like, she understands so much of her history, because even though 
at the moment that we met Sans and Aria, they are completely different in terms of personalities. Sans believing that her all her her world was surrounded by the fact that she wanted to marry the king and be the queen one day and have little princess and that was her entire world, you know? And even though, you know, Sansa and Arya have differences, both of them are Starks and both of them have been raised by the standards and by the beliefs of the people of the North being loyal. They know all of this, both of them. And now Sansa in her position and in the way she has, you know, being forced to grow up and to understand the world that she lives in, now she is able to say, this is what we need to do, and like even plan a war. Like, will you believe that season one Sansa will be standing at the wall ready to fight against the Boltons to take back her home? I don't think anyone in their wildest dream will think that, you know, and I have seen people being, uh, a little bit surprised at the fact that I liked Sansa. I liked Sansa since season one. I liked it. She was really childish and she was like, but she was raised to be that, you know? She was raised to be marry the king one day, you know? And, and she took, she, her point of view was like this, this cult. Like she only saw her being queen. There was nothing else. There was nothing else. Uh, there was nothing wrong in the world, only she she was going to be queen, she was going to be hap live happily ever after, you know? And she came face to face with reality, and she has suffered a lot, and she has gone through a lot, just as Arya, you know? And just to have those things on her being the North, North remembers, they are loyal to the Starks, I am still the face of the Starks, and wearing her her name and her house so proudly it just it warms my heart i just love sans i have said many times and one of my favorite characters is cersei lannister but soon like closer to closer to sansa like they are right there both of them i love them both for different reasons but i love them both and sansa is just i want to protect her but now i feel like i should be protected from her because she's a badass and I like that. I like also that she was not willing to forgive Littlefinger or to listen to him, even though at the end she kind of did, but it was needed, you know? I don't like the fact that she lied to Jon, uh, but I think she lied to Jon because Jon, she knew that Jon wouldn't trust Littlefinger. So we'll see how that turns out. I am excited to see more of that, of more of badass Sansa. Uh, and it's so crazy also. I, you know, in the past I have made some parallels between Jean and, and Danny, and now there's this amazing parallel. One of the priests believes that Danny is the one that was promised, and and because of, of the fact that Danny just she's unborn and she's the mother of the dragons, and they believe in the fire, and dragons are basically fire for them, you know, and uh, Jean is for Mount Sanders, she, he is the promised one because he is back from the dead and he shouldn't be and you know that's why. So you have Jean on the wall, you have Danny on the other side of the wall, both of them are being are being called the promised ones to, to save and to lead this battle. So I mean eventually their paths might cross. I know it's impossible, it, nothing's impossible, but I mean it's, it's, it's crazy that it could happen, but it could totally happen. They, they, I don't think they have made this clear of a parallel between both of them if they're not going to put them together, right? I mean, put them together in the sense of fighting together, you know? Uh, because she, like she said, she's gonna fight this war, but then she's gonna fight the bigger war that comes, which is the same thing Mount Sandry always says. And we know the big fight is them against the White Walkers. Also, in this episode, we find out that it was the children who created the White Walkers. And I'm guessing the reason why the Dragon Glass is the one who gets to kill them is because the, the thing that made that man be the the White Walker is because of the... it was Dragon Glass, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, it was, this was an amazing episode. This was truly amazing episode. I don't know how many awards 
this show has won. I'm totally gonna check. I don't want to check anything yet until I'm done with the season so I don't get anything spoiled because the, the smallest things, you know, can make you spoil. You know what I have stopped doing as well? I check my comments now and strictly for Game of Thrones on my Creator Studio app, uh, the YouTube Creator Studio app. I check it from there, only from there, not even here on my computer. Why? Because you have my video on one side and then you get recommended videos. And sometimes uh, I saw that they recommend me a scene from season one. So I was thinking, if they recommend me a story or a, a video from season one, which was the Cersei and Cersei and uh, Robert a scene, and also the Cersei and and what was the name? Cersei and what is it? Lanzo a scene. I have saw those two recommendations on my on this side. I was like, bitch, they might recommend me scenes from other seasons they haven't watched. So now I don't I every time I want to check a comment I go to my creator studio. I don't go into YouTube to check comments for Game of Thrones or answer comments from Game of Thrones because I don't want to get spoiled. So that is how much I take care of the fact that I don't want to watch anything. And someone on my previous reaction said that I don't watch things ahead. I don't read things ahead. That would be stupid. That would be stupid. I don't have time for that. So, and that would be, that would be really stupid. Like, why will I, in, why in the world will I, like, unlike you guys, let's be real, unlike you guys who had to wait from one week to another and then a year between seasons, I don't have to do that. So why in the world will I spoil myself of something that is coming ahead if I can just bench the entire thing and be done with it? Like, it's so stupid. But if someone said that they believe that I, I cheated that I, I I look at the episode before I that will be stupid like that will be really stupid also that I'm not an actor so that will mean that I'm acting out my my reactions that, that's that's stupid anyways hope you guys have enjoyed my reaction video uh, I hope you guys continue supporting by giving a lot of thumbs up to this reaction video comment for more subscribe and all those good things and that's about it thank you so much guys I'll see you next time for another reaction video for Game of Thrones Mwah. Bye, guys.